Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd do a quick video. Just uh, while I was doing this, I've decided to upgrade this Fly Sky transmitter. This one, which is the FS16X. There's two models. This is the more channel, the upgraded version. Pick this up off eBay, and as the insides, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a antenna mod on. So I'm going to put a, a external antenna. I can't find it now. Where I put it? Put it somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to do that. But before I do that, I'm going to upgrade the battery tray. As we all know, it uses normal batteries, double A, which is crap. So I'm going to. What I've just done is. Got myself a USB cable, cut the wire off, found the positive and negative, which is you can see there. Negative, positive, cable tie on there. I'm going to just hot glue this in now. Solder to the outputs of the battery terminals, dead simple. That way I can retain using the double A's still. Yeah, so you can still use the double A's, but I'm just going to use a battery bank. This one's got two. 2000 milliamp batteries in uh, 18650s, so, yeah, which is basically similar to a couple of them. Yeah, they're LG ones. So, I'm just going to velcro this to the back, or maybe 3D print something out. I don't really know. That's going to go there, uh, and USB cable. I've left it a bit too long, I should shorten it off, but I don't know. I don't know whether that, that'll just tuck around like this. I ain't bothered about that. So I just thought I'd show you that and also there's the antenna which I'm coming out the back and I've got a high gain antenna somewhere, I don't know how to put it, uh, put it back in the box so that just comes out the back and goes to, if I can show you, I'm get me a little pointer, which goes to that socket there, it normally went up this little scent Sent apart, but I'm going to put that back and just have it coming out the back. So I didn't want to mod this. I didn't want to start cutting and messing about with this. So it is diversity. So there's one antenna coming down. It's going to flip between two, I suppose. Uh, but the main one is going to come out the back, and it's a long, a long one. One of them 8 dB ones, uh, which I find shortly when I dig it out the box. So what I'm going to do now is get the glue gun let me just put that down I'm just waiting for the glue to heat up put a bit of glue on here and then I'll pop this back together I just thought I'd show you this just picked this up today I just picked it up for eBay 20 quid bargain and I'm just 3d printing some parts out now for the battery tray just put a lot of glue on there, done. Drag it back down. That'll keep everything in place. From moving. Job sorted. Because uh, AA batteries are a waste of time. I mean, you can use rechargeables, but they're still not that good. So I just thought I'd show you this. And this is going to be for uh, playing and building. If if you keep tuned shortly, I'm building this quad, which I'm slowly putting together. I had a bit of trouble with the flight control, and I had to swap flight controls, but uh, this one's coming up. It's a squashed X frame. So guys, if you like this short video, I'll put it, in fact, what I'll do is I'll stop it here, and I'll be back in it shortly when I put it all together. Okay, guys, uh, it's finally finished. It only took us 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get this done. This is the next day because I've had to 3D print a part out, but uh, everything's back as it was. Uh, apart from, the, I've got a 3D printed part on the back. And I've got this antenna which I'll mount on the side of that way. It doesn't really make any difference. Oh, that's probably the way I'll have it. And I've got this power bank. So what I've done with that is I 3D printed this little holder, whatever you want to call it. And I've just stuck it with some M3 tape to the back of the door. As you can see, just goes on. 
got a little bit of tip just hold the door on and uh, yeah it's nice and snug obviously this will only fit this battery bank so if you were going to make your own you'd have to make a fit or you could just stick the battery bank directly to the back door this uh, battery door I want to be able to take it off and use this for other things as well so there's no batteries in apart from this so we'll just turn it on just to prove it works it's a bit awkward to hold this thing yeah so as you can see it's turned on and the lights come on at the back there's no batteries in you have to be wait for it because I'll take that tape off but there isn't there's no batteries in it's coming from there uh, now I've charged it up charge the battery bank up and it's at 4.81 volts uh, and the battery indicator is like one and a half I expected that to go further up and give us five volts but it doesn't give us this is what volts it does so it's going to stay like this for a long time probably god knows how many days uh, I've never tried it but once I start using it then I'll, I'll try it out but it shouldn't drop it should stay like that for a long time which is ample uh, Two two thousand five hundred mAh batteries in there, so you're looking at five thousand mAh compared to four little double A's, which has probably got about two hundred and fifty milliamps per each one, or something. Yeah, so yeah, well, it's worked out all right. The antenna mod should give us a little bit. Obviously, we've got this antenna coming along here this way, so you either want this one down like this or up. I'd probably have it down. So it's like, so I'm flying like this. That's probably how I'll have it. Something like that. Just so you get a nice pattern. You could have it that way if you're, if you're flying like this. It just depends. I'm going to have it that way. So obviously you want to be 90 degrees to the other one. Um, and everything works on it. I mean, I can get into the options. Uh, everything's there. What more can I say? All the buttons work. All the switches work, it's got like, I think it's 20 channels or something. Uh, so, I'm going to use this for my flying wing. The uh, Sonic Air, is it? Sonic Air 900mm one. That's what I'm going to use this for. So, I'm going to, I don't know where I am. There's my receiver. So, this is the receiver I'm going to use in my plane. It's got nice long antennas. And it's uh, S-Bus. I'm going to use it on S-Bus. So that's going to be paired up with that. And I'm just waiting for the flight controller. So if you keep tuned, the flight controller I'm going to get, it's uh, for a plane. I can't remember the, it's a Maytek 405 I think. Uh, but I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm waiting for that to turn up. And then I'm going to go through, not beta flight, I'm going to use iNav for that. And see if I can get that flying with the return to home and such. So keep a check out for that. And one other little thing, just before you go, which I'll be doing shortly. Because uh, I had a spare, uh, spare, oh, where is this, I can't find it. Yeah, so one of the flight controllers, which I had for this quad, didn't work out in this, qu in this quad here. Didn't work out. So I've put a, a new F4 board in. I'm just waiting for a few little bits to turn up. Like a new my camera decided to pack up on me. This fox here decided to pack up on me. So I'm waiting for a replacement. Obviously to do the rest. So the the flight board was a V4 F6, I think, all in one board. I haven't got it to hand, but I, I'll show you later. And what happened is uh, the PWM signals were screwed up and I uh, couldn't get all my motors to work. Uh, so it's a faulty board. Uh, the guy gives a discount and I managed to keep, I kept the board. It's not, not really good. I thought, what could I use it for? And then I thought, tricopter. Because I could get like three of the motors working. But I wanted PWM for the servos and I had to use like... Uh, uh, I can't remember which pin it was now but I changed it, remapping and got one of the pins working so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use that in there and I'm going to 3D printed a few parts out for this tricopter uh, tri so actually there's a base plate and so on I'm just waiting for some carbon bits 
to fit in here and I need some mortars as well because obviously I need something with a low KV and something of higher torque and I want to again see if I can't use that with iNav and get a bit like a long range type of quad uh, there's a camera which I put in pre printed that out so yeah, that's coming up shortly, so keep an eye out for that. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.